Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fish. Ah, oh, drat. Oh, hey, good day. Just trying to catch my breakfast, but that's oh, alright. I'll get some bait later and try properly. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with Sabbath Kiwi on my town build survival challenge on Avon Valley. Um, yesterday we, I left you, I was clearing these trees out. Um, I've cleaned up all the logs that were lying around. I did a load of that last night and loaded this up with those two trees I cut down. Oh, well, this is the last of them anyway. And yeah, by the time I got that loaded up it was dark. So we hopped in the tent. Had a bite to eat and went to sleep. Slept like a log, no pun intended. Well, pun was intended actually. <laughs> so, we're off to the shop with this to sell this. Uh, we're at 15 odd thousand dollars now. Um, still a ways away from my goal. I might have to be a little, hmm, I might have to budget a little and go the harder route to start with, but we can build that up anyway. But we are going to pop into the shop while we're there after selling these logs because we need, I'm, I want to get a front loader for this, it's going to make my job a lot easier, it's going to bring in the cash a lot faster, so I just hope we can find one that's going to work, I'm pretty sure there should be one, um, it has to be the lizard mod that came with it, so we'll give it a go, um, yeah, and that's the plan at the moment, and cutting more trees because we need money to get the tools to get into this field. By the end of the episode, I hope to be hitting this field, to be honest, but, you know, we need a bit of a miracle, really, to get in there and start mowing that, because I want to mow that grass first and get some silage going. My estimates, I need about fifty to $60,000. <laughs> preferably over sixty grand to be safe. So, as you can see, that's quite a ways away. Uh, it's quite a journey from those bunch of trees down to here, but such as life I guess. So yeah, haven't done much but ch chop trees down like I said. Loaded them up, a little low. Uh, it's kind of a pain having to pick these up little bits like this and load it like that and not get much for it. Well, I get enough for it I suppose, I can't complain. But still, if we had the, <coughs> excuse me, if we had the bigger logs we could get that money in faster for sure. That's the plan, but then we've also got to think about towing the log from point A to point B. Let's see what we get for that, and we're up to about 18,000 now, so just shy of what I thought we'd be, but that's okay. So I'm going to pop into the shop, and um, yeah, I'll have a talk to them, see if we can find us a front loader and a log port. Yeah, and I'll see you soon. Right, we got our log forks, our systematic front loader, quite nice. And they assured me it would work as long as I put a Massey Ferguson weight box on the back, so won't be lifting huge weights with it, um, but yeah, we'll get somewhere with it. Oh, and they've asked if, um, they've seen us delivering logs, so they asked if we could get in here and chop some trees down for them. They want to let some light through here, um, so they've given us access to this land. Uh, we can chop trees down now, so we can go at the spruce here. Uh, full disclosure, it was free to purchase on the map, thanks to Vulcan Gaming for mentioning that in the other video. Um, yeah, so we're going to attack these trees today. I'm just checking here that we do have the clearance. He assured me we would, so I should have checked this at the shop, but it's just up there. So Looks perfect to me. I think we can get into it. Not a problem. So yeah, we're going to be clearing these trees out, they've asked if we can do what we want with the trees. Um, he just wants them gone, so... Yeah, what a what a miracle, we asked for a miracle and we got one. So I imagine by the end of today, we, if we can get through these trees, we should be having the money at least to get our gear. So there's quite a few trees here. Uh, we've got access to that one too, he said, but we'll clear this one first. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the other one we got. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look anyway. Not in there. Oh, well, that's our land. It's a fair way away, isn't it? But oh, yeah, we got that square there. So, and I assure you, it was zero dollars to purchase. So I didn't spend any money. 
So away we go. These are just the easier trees to chop down and more money for them too. So I, I believe that's true anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, we'll be busy in here. It's going to be a long day. Um, it's already nine o'clock. So nine o'clock on the dot pretty much we started. We were up till dark last night loading wood into the trailer and chopping trees and then it just got too dark to do any more but it's pretty dark around here don't know how long this is going to take me i won't chop all the trees down i doubt i'd get through them all anyway before it does get dark but uh, with that front loader definitely it's going to make life a lot easier my only concern is is, a, is the tractor going to handle the weight and definitely pulling that trailer as well but i guess we wait and see you don't know till you try so we'll get into it and see what we can do i guess we'll be making the logs about the length of the trailer to start with um i don't know how sturdy that trailer is to be honest but i guess optimally we want six meters but i guess that's this one should probably be under yeah it's under i could have probably given it a bit more but it's a good trial run for the first one let's see if it's going to work let's see how it goes hope i've made the right purchase and haven't lost money <clears throat> they assured me it would do the job so we won't be picking up big loads with it like i said Pretty easy tool to use, I like these forks. Pretty good. As long as you grab it around the center, it's usually pretty decent. The tractor's got a bit of a wobble and I will reposition that trailer in a bit. I'll get my bearings on this and I'm sure after a few goes of it I feel natural. Right, we'll just square that up by bumping into it, it's okay. Oh geez, that sunk down a bit, didn't it? Okay, well, we know that we can get the logs in there, no problem. But are we going to be able to pull them? I hope that hasn't sunken into the earth. Uh, I'll just take this weight off. Put that down. And, uh, yeah, we'll make sure we can hook up to it and tow it, because otherwise I'll be wasting my time loading it, won't I? And that's just one what was that four meters so we can pick it up so okay that's not too bad just wanted to double check i didn't want to go ahead and waste my time loading the trailer up if we can't move it or even if we can't pick it up so that's all good um yeah i guess you can watch me chop some wood for a bit but i won't bore you too much Quite a few trees, like I say, I won't get through them all, but I'll get quite a few of them out of there. Several of them, I hope. Um, yeah, because I want to get into that field by the end of this episode, so fingers crossed we can get there. But uh, we are on two day months now, it's ticked over to that, so this is September 1. That's about a big size here. I think six meters is the best price size, I don't know. I think for now I'm just going to load them up at a reasonable length um, and hope that we can pick them up <laughs> but yeah it's all going to be trial and error whether this tractor it's only 49 horsepower remember so it might not be able to pull them all pull the yeah so i'll give it a go with the tree and see how we go um i'll get stuck into this i think and i'll see you shortly
Right, we've been a busy day. Um, what is it? Two thirty-ish. Um, yeah, as you see, we do have another vehicle. Uh, the Massey would not tow the trailer, not even with one tree. So we got bought that pretty early on. But just clearing up these last bit of logs. Um, we've been busy chopping trees. See, we've got a trailer load over there and another pile, which will probably be another trailer or two. So yeah, we've been pretty flat out. Um, well, yeah, like I say, we did have to buy this little crawler. Uh, Fiat 70C. Uh, it's only 90 horsepower, cost me about $8,000, but it can tow up to about 10.9 or 11 tons, something like that. So that's quite handy. Doesn't go very fast. Doesn't go very fast at all. I call it turbo because it kind of looks like a snail. <laughs> so yeah, um, we got this thing. Even if we keep it just while we're doing these woodwork, while we're doing the forestry. Uh, it's coming in handy, it's doing alright, but yeah, that Massey wouldn't, po wouldn't tow at all, sorry. Um, the back tyres came up off the ground, so I had to put the forks down to le level it out, but then the forks were down so it wouldn't steer. So, and I think I was going like 3 kilometres an hour. And even from this close to the shop, that was kind of annoying, with just one tree. So, we've got quite a bit on this one, as you can see, we've cut up some big logs, and this thing pulls it, no problem. Like I say, it's slow, 15k an hour, but... Yeah, it doesn't struggle at all to pull it. So we'll get this little wood sold. This is the first big load. We've cut down a few trees. I've lost count of the trees we cut down. Quite a few. And um, yeah, our, like our goal is going to be just to get a lot of money in today. We really want to get to that 50 grand mark today. So we'll see how we go. See how we go with this. So we are down to 10 grand. This little it doesn't like going, the tracks don't like going over the metal. So, yeah, it should fill it up hopefully, yeah. So yeah, we are down to 10 grand, we did have to buy that. But um, we should make some money off this, what are we going to get off that? 12,000, wow. We're up to 22 now, so these, this paid for itself basically, nice and easy. Um, yeah, we'll keep this for a little while just to pull these logs up here um, it's not far to go so the slow speed doesn't really matter but this is all we're going to be doing is chopping these trees down so it's not going to be very entertaining so I'll jump back in now and then I guess when I um when I get a full trailer load so we'll park this down here like I say it's not very fast 15 kilometers an hour it is literally a crawler but mate I'm impressed with it honestly it holds the weight like nobody's business a uh, few trees to go, oops, I should watch where we're driving, a few trees to go, um, and yeah, we've got another load or two to do on this, so I think I'll jump in every time I see you, but here's the, here's the crawler anyway, if you can have a close-up look to it, and it's not too bad, she does the job really well, like I say, it looks like a snail, so I've nicknamed it Turbo, um, yeah, a little play on words as well, because it's slow, <laughs> I mean, this is doing great at loading. The loading job with that, it's, do, it's a great little loader. But that's about all this is good for at the moment. <laughs> um, it can't pull the trailer, not even with a tree. So I'll get to loading, and I'll see you with the next trailer load. Right, that's another load. We couldn't quite fit the whole lot on, but we did stack it up. Uh, as best as we could. I mean, then we struggling with this one I think it's more to do with the length and the weight because some of them are a little bit longer than yeah just weighing down that back end a little bit but it's not too bad so yeah that's the load. we're just going to load up this wood that we chopped down and um, get this done because I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit there watching me chop trees so even a montage of chopping trees would be a little a little boring Yep, I'm sure I'll get hang of this. I think I just need to floor it over here. I won't get stuck so much. Let's see how much we get for that load. That's not bad. Nine grand for that. So we're up over 30,000 now. Um, getting close to my target. I'll see you in a bit. Right, this is the last of the wood of those trees we cut down. Uh, we are pushing into 4 o'clock, is it, in-game, so 
been a long day, chopping trees and loading trailers. Um, so yeah, we really just want to keep going and we've probably got a couple of hours light left, I imagine. We'll sell this lot and see what we can do. And then we're up to 34. We didn't get too much off that. It's only one tree, I suppose. But, um, yeah, we've still got a little bit of light left. Not much, a couple of hours of light, so I'm going to crack on. I think there's still a couple of trees on the ground that I need to pick up, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are pushing on. It's half past five now, and we've got another load of wood. But we have been busy, and I think there's still a little bit more to pick up. If we can see in the light, then we will do that. But yeah, we're doing quite well. We've cleared out quite a few trees. I'm gonna guess maybe around eight to ten trees, maybe. I think. Yeah, uh, it's pretty hard to. See. Yeah, we've done quite well. But we are pushing on at half past five, so we've been at this for a couple of hours, real time. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this is going to push us up. I don't imagine it will get us to 50, but over 50, over 40 would be good. A lot easier than <clears throat> doing single trees and little logs, that's for sure. So we're up at 41 now. So close but no cigar let's try again we'll load up a few more and we'll see how we go yeah it's definitely dark now um, pushing into yeah we've, yeah this will be the last load we do there is a little bit more to pick up but I just, I know there is, I just can't see what I'm doing in the dark down there. Some of it's hidden in the grass, and I can't quite see where I'm putting it on the trailer. So this will be our last trailer load. Um, then we'll head back to HQ and have some sleep. And yeah, so let's see if we can hit that 50 today. That was our target when we started, and we were... We were on 14 when we started, so I think it was 14. And we're up to 48, so so close to what our target was, I'm not going to complain about that. And I, I wish I'd easily reached the 50 tomorrow, because I know there's at least another couple of logs down there that should get us that money. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base, and we're going to get some sleep. So, I'll see you in the morning. Right, here we are, good morning. We are in September 2 and we got the last bit of the wood that I had to chop down. I got up fairly early to do this. You know, just to chop it, trim it down and load it up. And we're ready to go. Uh, this should get us to 50, hopefully. Uh, once we do that, we can start working on our silage. Because uh, that's the main goal, isn't it? Is to get our silage. So, we'll get this done, hopefully. Because I don't want to be doing wood the whole time. Um, although I'm going to have to do it for a while. And there we are, 50,000. 420. There you go. Uh, so it must mean shopping time. So we want the silage stuff. I want a mower. I want to get a forage wagon. And we're going to need something to make silage in. So we could be pushing. Um, I'll try my best to get the easy stuff. But I'm going to go shopping. And I'll see you when I'm finished. Right, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Uh, we got the Pottinger forage wagon. That was about 26000 And we've got this mower. That was the cheapest one I could find. It's seven and a half. Um, we are slightly under the horsepower requirement for it, so we may encounter issues, but we'll see how it goes. Um, even if we can get... Uh, yeah. We'll see how we go with it. We are underpowered. But hey... We might get lucky and just be able to do it. Uh, I think the requirement is 60 horsepower and we're sitting on 49. And we did put down a silage pit or bunker, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> just a cheap one. But uh, we'll see how we get, how much we get out of that. So we're going to be cracking on today and we're going to be mowing the lawns and filling this up and getting some silage on the go.
so yeah that'll be our job today um we'll back this up we'll probably do along this line there's a lot of hedges here but once we get this mowed and get the grass out we can get the plow down and make a field so i'll drop this here i'm just going to move the trailer first because uh, we will encounter it will get in our way but yeah it's going to be another long task uh, it's not a very wide mower i think it was three meters or 2.4 2.5 to 3 meters, something like that. But for the budget we were on, what we got, we probably could have afforded a slightly bigger one, but then, yeah, but I have to think about things we need as well. We're going to need a bucket to load the silage, we're going to need a trailer for it, so. Yeah, well, anyway, let's get cracking on with mowing, because, um, yeah. Let's see how we go with it. It's, we are slightly underpowered for it. It is quite a noisy mower at times. But, um, you know, we'll get to cut our grass finally. This is what we've been looking forward to getting to. We've chopped down enough trees for now, so... But I imagine I'm still going to have to go through and do some more. Um, we're going to fold this, don't we? There we go. Unfold it, I should say. Yep, there we go. So we get this underway. Let's see how it goes. Um, we'll just do a border around so we can figure out where our border is. I know that this is not quite on the edge. The trees are the edge. The little trees. But yeah, we'll just do the border around here and see how we go. Um, so far, so good. I actually I think the speed was 20 k's on this mower, but seeing as we're slightly underpowered, I don't think I'll complain about 16 k's. So, but yeah, it was quite a lot of work to do those trees. Um, well, there's still quite a few more to cut down, so I mean, it's good money when we need it. Um, but this just breaks up the monotony and the, the boringness of it all, I guess. We can actually mow some grass now. If any better than chopping trees, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, where's our border? Um, oh, we've got quite a ways to go. I thought it was, I didn't think it was that big an area. That's good. So we've got quite a big field here that we can work on once we get this mowed up. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure how much chaff that pit's gonna hold. So don't mind me while I just search for the boundary and just get an eye for what we're dealing with here but yeah I'm not sure how much that's going to hold so we are going to be slowed down I'm not sure how long it takes to ferment but yeah well, that's quite a good field to do actually so <clears throat> I'm not sure what we're going to put down in this field once we've mowed it um, haven't really got an out and out plan as such yet but I guess we don't want to be go putting productions down just yet because we're not quite ready to put houses in um, well I mean I guess we could um, yeah I guess there's nothing stopping us doing that but uh well, we're about there are we? yeah we're about there so I'll just let the computer tell us what it's done I suppose oh there we go so that's not a bad area um, it's a lot bigger than I thought I thought it was only half that so this will be good this will be a good run uh, we've got a good, good field to start with um, yeah, we'll make a decision once we get the mowing done anyway um, I have a feeling we're going to need another tractor to pull the implements to create the field because this one I think is more of a loader uh, you can see it's not going too fast with the mower but going fast enough um, yeah, so we'll get cracking on doing this field. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you in a bit.
we have encountered some issues we've slowed right down she was going good for a while it wasn't top speed stuff but she was cruising along nicely but now she's just really chopping through the gears and struggling so i think we've pushed our limit we were operating uh, below the required horsepower limit so anyway we i'm going to finish this strip because i don't feel like leaving just like this little bit like that a little disappointing but you know it's to be expected like i said we are trying to operate a 60 horsepower tool with a 49 horsepower tractor i didn't think it would make too much difference but as you can see it's just really yeah it's just chopping and changing and just sticking and really struggling so if i'm doing something wrong with the tool and you think it's me the operator and not the machine then let me know but it was running quite nicely before and now all of a sudden it's just stopped it really you see what i mean uh just want, yeah it could be the tractor itself i think the mower itself is fine but it leaves us with a decision um we do need a better tractor on the farm because we're going to do a lot more heavier work so we can either get a new tractor or we can get a mower that's going to work with this tractor for now um slightly dearer for a lesser horsepower but it should be able to operate it um or if we get a new tractor and I, i'm even considering do we trade the messy in but the messy is quite a nice little loader uh big decision so i'm gonna have to go away and think about this and yeah i'll get back to you all right after pondering for a little bit i've decided we might as well go and pick up some of this grass and get some silage fermenting or some chaff fermenting whatever you want to say uh well no point wasting time thinking we can think when we work so yeah, we do have some decisions to make. This tractor is okay. Um, we'll pull in this trailer, all right. Um, but yeah, it's just it's got very it's very limited to what it can do. To be expected for the size, I suppose it is a small series tractor. So maybe it is just designed to be a loader, and it's a good little loader. But we do need a bigger, more powerful tractor on the farm because we're going to start plowing fields, and yeah, we, we need something that's going to handle with that equipment. Um, so we've got to make some money, so we either potter around while the silage is ticking over. I'm not sure how long that takes in game. Um, it's going to be a month away at least, I imagine. Or we try and trade things in to, yeah, to get a better tractor. But, it, I mean, it would be a shame to ditch our first tractor we started with it would be good to keep this throughout the series even if, if it turns into an antique piece at the end you know um yeah we're going to get quite a lot of grass off here too and i'm not sure how much that pit's going to take um that's something i've got to think about too how much chat can we fit in there oh we've got a full load so let's go chuck it in there put our first load in It's thirteen and a half thousand litres in there. So that's not too bad. That was the cheaper option of the Pottinger wagons that I found. I got this off Mod Hub, I can't remember the exact name, sorry. But um if you do want to know it just ask in the comments and I'll I'll put it down when I find it. So yeah, we've got to some decisions. We can trade in our crawler and our Massey. And that would give us around 16,000 on top of what we got now. Which is maybe just enough to get a tractor that I know we can afford. But then I'd feel a bit guilty. <laughs> but yeah, trading a Massey in for a John Deere. But anyway, I just got to refresh my memory on how to unload this, sorry. Um, been a while since I used one of these wagons. There we go. Okay, that's better. And I haven't done silage like this for a while either. My method of making silage was a little out of our price range. But after this load sells, we should be able to afford it. So, small baby steps, I suppose. Well, there we go. There's 13,500 litres. It's going to take a while. 
to fill that up, I imagine. So, I'll get cracking, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Right, that's done. Uh, we, I think we filled that up enough, but every time I put more in it just comes out the end. So we're just compacting this down. I uh, did put the weight on. I wasn't sure the crawler was actually doing it. Um, didn't seem to come up saying compacting as often as it does when I do it with this. So, so we're done now. That's fully compacted down. So, yeah, a bit of tidying up to do as well, but we'll get that done. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Just, uh, we still got quite a lot of grass to pick up though. So, it's at um, 70 odd thousand litres. So, you know, uh, yeah, this will do for our first batch. I think we're going to definitely improve it. So we'll chuck the cover on that. There we go. And I will get to, I'll get to cleaning that up, I think. Um, yeah. Just so we don't get it mixed up when we go to unload it, we'll try and clear it out of the way. Eventually I'll get a bucket and we'll, and the next system will have this sorted, we won't have the mess to contend with. Alright, so it's cleaned up as we can get it. That's fermenting away slowly. Uh, light's fading. I need some diesel in the Massey. Um, and I've got a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> um, we need a bit more money, so we're probably going to have to get stuck into the trees while we wait for the silage to be finished. Um, I can't see that be finished till October 2 at the earliest, maybe. Maybe even longer, who knows. So, yeah, we need a bigger bigger tractor um, so we've got a lot to ponder so until next time take care and thank you for joining me